It's Halloween, guys, and today we are talking about the pre-release announcement of the Fat Shark HDO2. So before you go and hit every house on the block to get all of your Halloween candy, pay attention to the top five reasons, guys, why you should be getting the HDO2. Now, I do not have the HDO2s. These are my HDOs. I'm not big enough to receive those yet, but let's hope that thanks to all of you guys subscribing, um, that by the next time they release another goggle, I will be large enough to get a review copy. Now, here are the reasons why you should be pre-ordering as I have already done prior to making this video. The top five reasons now, there are some other videos out there that have gone into a lot of detail. If you want to see more detail, go watch uh, Mr. Steele or Barwell's video. But if you just want a quick summary, here's the top five. Number five are that finally, 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 there is a power button on board that you can use. You have to do, go and set some settings for it to actually function like a power button, but it is included. Number four, there is finally the elimination of that extra fan connector. So that's no longer needed. Fan uh, control is on board without having to run that extra cord that always gets broken on the battery. Um, number three is that there are now finally a very welcome feature, which is color manipulation built into the goggle. So you don't just have your standard brightness and contrast screens. Uh, settings you also have either there's like five or six different settings there are you know color saturation and other manipulations so that you can really get those fine-tuned color picture that you really want for your eyeballs now if you're like me and don't always set up camera control or keep those little camera controllers to adjust the settings on your camera to every light situation now you can avoid some of that by performing some of that manipulation in goggle I love that because I personally don't always like to futz with the camera, especially on some of those potted frames where it's not very easy to reach one of those connectors. Number two and number one are related to the screen. Now, number two is going to be the fact that there is now, in addition to a wider interpupillary distance control setting, it now goes further narrower and further wider. So it is the widest and narrowest options ever offered by Fat Shark before. So if you had a eye spacing that was too narrow or too wide, you should be a company now. And in addition to that, they finally have a focus distance. There is no longer the little slots in there for you to put your adjustments to be able to adjust your diopter settings. That's because there's another knob on board that allows you to adjust the lens, the optics in and out, and you should be able to achieve up to a minus six diopter setting. So if you have um, eyeglass prescription settings that fall within that range, you'll no longer have to carry those extra little lenses on board. You should be able to get the perfect uh, eye settings to be able to focus super sharp. Even Mr. Steele was saying that he noticed after finally getting the HDL V2 that he had been seeing a slight blur in the HD2s that he had been wearing the four years prior up to this. Uh, and he just didn't even realize until he saw the clarity in the HDL V2. And number one, the biggest notable um, thing is gonna be the 0.5 inch Sony OLED panels. These are 1280 by 960, four by three, OLEDs that have a whopping 46 degree field of view. That puts them right between the HD3 and the HD2. The HD3 being 43 degrees field of view and the HD2 being 50 degrees field of view. And a lot of people were saying that the 50 degree was too wide for certain people's um, faces, but because they now have that uh, focus adjustment to allow the screens to come closer or further away from you, you should be able to get most people to have a very clear picture in their eyeballs while still having a giant image. One of the things that I always lamented about moving from the HD3 to the HDO was that slight shrinkage in field of view. I have missed that since. And I often said that something around the 45 degree field of view would be perfect and they have hit it right on the nail 46 degree field of view guys. So this is very upsetting for all of you Orca backers that did your pre-order um, Kickstarter. Sorry for you guys. Now the race is on. Who is gonna get their items shipped first? 
uh, pre-order backers of the Orca goggles or Fat Shark HD02 pre-orders. I have mine on pre-order already. Um, if you want to get a small discount available, click the link below and buy through um, one of my partners. That'll help the channel out here and help you save a couple of bucks too. Join the FPV Sales Alerts group if you wanna be in tune to all of the upcoming sales on Halloween, on <laughs> Black Friday, on Cyber Monday, and all of the other holiday sales that are coming up very soon. What are you guys gonna do? Are you gonna stick with your HDOs? Are you gonna stick with your old goggles? Are you gonna go with the Sky Zones? You're waiting for the Orcas. Are you moving over to the DJI digital system and don't even care about analog goggles anymore? Tell me in the comments what you're doing, guys, but I will be having my HDO 2s. These are for sale for very cheap right now. If you wanna buy these with the Rapid Fire module and all of the boxes and cables and batteries, let me know. Thanks, guys.